YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be breaking down how I created this. To create this effect, we're going to be using Creative Flow's Mixed Media Paper Pack. If you guys want to grab that, it will be linked in the description below. I highly recommend it. It is super, super high quality, as you guys will see in this video. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this clip right here. Since Cole shot this video in 4x3, we're just going to zoom in for the sake of this tutorial. And then moving on, we're going to go to more clips from the video. I think it's really good to find close-up clips, so I like this one right here. This clip is a lot shorter than the actual one right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Effect Controls. We're going to zoom out and hold Alt and drag twice. And then we're going to go to this one, right-click and reverse speed, so it'll play something like this this it'll just reverse back into it and then we're going to right click on all of them nest them we're going to scale down and put this one in the corner right here now if you guys want to get rid of the logo what you can do is actually go into this and then put on a crop now i'm just not going to get rid of the logo because i know you guys aren't going to be using footage that has a logo in the bottom right you're going to be using your own footage so let's go back into the timeline and let's find one more clip that we can use here i think this one's super cool here i think it'll be really cool if we actually sped this up right here we made it 300 that's cool eh Let's go and resize that and let's put this one right here and now moving on we're gonna drag these two up we're gonna go over to the pack here as you guys can see there are 30 different paper textures that you guys can apply in your videos so i'm gonna go and look for a unique one that i can put on the background i think this one looks really cool and then boom the paper texture is applied we're gonna go to the blend mode and you guys can change it to whatever you like but i really like the way screen looks or color dodge or just stuff like that you can go down and drag it to what you guys like lighter color is also cool let's go with that and then you guys can play with the opacity if you want just turn it down a little bit it's up to you i'm gonna leave it at max Maybe even turn that to 70. We're gonna go back into the texture pack and I like the way this one looks here. Boom, the square. We're gonna go and hit effect controls and resize that on top of these here. And then let's hit uniform scale and then scale down the height. All right, cool. Now we're gonna go to our pen tool and just roughly scale around the edges. You don't have to do it exact. Cool. And then we're gonna feather it. The feather is super important. Boom. And if you guys want, if you think it's not close enough to the edges, you guys can go to mass expansion and bring that down a little bit. And then we're gonna duplicate this one up here, motion and bring it over to this one. And then you guys can resize it to match. Once that's on there, we're gonna go to our blend mode and we can turn that to lighter color. And then same for the bottom one. You have a cool effect there already, guys. But to spice it up even more, we're gonna go down to this one and we are gonna go to posterize time, drag and drop that on. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give it more of a vintage look. Now, the frame rate is set to 24, but we're gonna bring that down to 12. And then we're gonna hit Control C on this clip and then highlight the rest of them and Control Alt V and paste posterize time. So we're making all the clips 12 frames per second. And then to add some more sauce, I really like the way these edges look here, guys. So we're gonna go and throw that on the bottom layer and we can zoom out a little bit and then we can set that to lighter color and play that through for you guys now if you think the paper texture is too much on the first one you guys can turn that down to like 40 because this one is really going to be doing most of it this one's just for a little bit more texture there as you guys can see boom and then to create the text we go to file new legacy title hit okay okay and then we are going to type poland Control a to select all of them and we're going to change it to Arial. let's resize it move it to the side and then flatten it out like that and hit x then we're going to go to our project file and drag it on there and then to get the text effect that cole used on it we're going to go and search mosaic drag and drop that on there and boom as you can see it looks really weird right now but don't worry guys we're going to fix it we're going to turn that one to 100 horizontal to 100 and vertical to 100 and then you guys can just turn them up to get the look you want so 150 150 and boom you guys get the point of it it just gives it that distorted look let's put poland right there that looks cool and then do the exact same thing with the legacy text for lil yachty i already have one here so i'm just going to drag this on and then control c control alt v pasting the mosaic on and boom you guys can see the little yachty there effect controls motion and we can resize that and put that where we want and then to add a little bit more sauce to this guys the edges on these ones here look a little straight for paper so what we're going to do is we're going to go into effect and put on rough and edges drag and drop rough and edges on there effect controls pay attention to this one up here the more we play with the border right here the more it becomes kind of like a rip paper and then we can play with the complexity i like turning that up there and you guys can add evolution to it to make it move but it's up to you and then the scale is fun to play with too i copy this and paste it on the other one here same ripped paper effect you guys want to check out creative flow's new pack it'll be linked in the description below i highly recommend it guys it is going crazy right now you guys can create some really unique effects on your videos with it thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video i recommend checking out our last video alongside a playlist of a bunch of other tutorials i know you guys will mess with thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one